Okay, so I'm going to be the guy talking in these videos. Apparently, the last guy wasn't loud enough. Anyway, in the last video we looked at the first few iterations of the sub-250 gram wing design that Mike was working on. He got some good results from version 1.38. But wanted to come up with something that could cruise a little better and fly longer. Sure, why not? So this is the version 1.3B. Um, a little bit wider wings than 1.3A. A little bit less of a uh, sweep degree. Um, but I also changed where I've got this little hatch design to keep all the junk tidy and then I keep the battery underneath um, so I think that'll be good this whole thing we're at 151 ish with battery we're at 228 so well below the 250 this is even heavier battery could easily put the uh, thumb pro on it so yeah so far mission accomplished assuming it goes in the air Here's version 1.3.2B <laughs> or something, I don't know. Um, I took the original design, I had the pod and everything on the top, but I was having some roll issues and uh, doing research I saw that what can help is having center of gravity below the wing to give a pendulum effect. So I took the pot off and made a new one on the bottom instead. And then for access, I cut a hole through the wing here, just small enough that I can shove a battery in there and uh, be able to access cables and things. I have a vertical stabilizer here, mostly just to protect the propeller on landings. I have flown this. I flew it in this configuration at uh, FPV West, and it did pretty well. We got some cool footage of that. Yeah, but this works pretty well this way. I'll do some more flights and then probably wrap this one up. Well said, Mike. You really are eloquent. Anyway, in the next video, he'll make some tweaks in the design. Do a quick build walkthrough and maybe even share plans you can download if you're lucky. So like and subscribe to 835 FPV and get in on that sweet, sweet hip-hop drone nerd action. Peace.